Morning, folks. So, uh, I'll be on the Sultans of Chatelet in about two hours. And, uh, It should be fun, obviously, um, in a <laughs> gallows humor, dark black pill sort of way. But, uh, yeah, the whole eat the bugs thing, <clears throat> which of course was a conspiracy theory until about 20 seconds ago. Yeah, um, so Nicole Kidman's a Renfield. Um, anyone who knows uh, Dracula lore or uh, Dresden Files lore, uh, Trim, I'm looking at you. It's, you seem to be the only man of culture in the Sultans right now. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, they want us to eat bugs. And they want us to completely ignore the fact that they cut away to wide shots and did a lot of um, interesting cuts between uh, uh, each bite that Nicole Kidman took. Um, first off, fuck off, I'm not eating bugs. If I have ever eaten bugs, it's been by accident. And uh, no, just... No. <laughs> Fuck off. Um, as one of the uh, people on Discord, I believe it was, said, um, I would rather eat the person who tries to tell me to eat the bugs. And in a situation like that, I can quite easily see um, going full Urukai and... Uh, yeah, meat's back on the menu, boys. But uh, leaving the, the silliness aside, um, there's already enough problems with uh, dietary adaptation in Western societies as it is. Uh, we have indigenous, native, First Nations, whatever term you want to use for them, um, the, the earliest settlers in North America, which is, I think, a fair term, uh, they don't process alcohol, not the same way that uh, Europeans do, white Europeans. Uh, the, I believe it's the Africans who don't process milk the same way. Uh, which led to that whole absolutely hilarious memory of the, the milk is white supremacy bullshit, which I thought was absolutely hilarious at the time. Um, but we also have in the West uh, an intolerance to soy, or at least an apparent intolerance to soy. Uh, whereas Asians seem to tolerate it much better, and it doesn't seem to give them the same sort of issues. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have thyroid disease. One of the foods or food ingredients I'm supposed to avoid with thyroid disease is soy and soy products. Now, if you've been in a inquisitive mood in a supermarket any time in the last, oh, 20, 30 years, you've noticed that uh, soy is in damn near everything except Whole Foods, that aren't actually soy. Um, so, the idea that we can somehow suddenly switch to a bug-based diet, yeah, I can only imagine what sorts of cancers or deficiency sy uh, syndromes uh, I can't imagine crapping out a, uh, a meal based on bugs would be fun. Wings and carapaces and things like that. Um, uh, pincers, etc. Uh,
But then you also have to take into account there have been dozens, if not hundreds, of food processing plants that have um, suffered damage or destruction under, if not mysterious, then very questionable circumstances of late. Uh, we have the we have various governments in the West attempting to shut down farming under some uh, tenuous emissions bullshit. Uh, Holland, Canada, they're both uh, making moves in that direction. Holland is much further along, obviously. We have uh, extremely rich individuals, such as Bill Gates, buying massive tracts of arable land, um, but of course they're planning to open nature preserves or some shit, right? We have the cricket farming facility in Canada. Um, what else? Yeah, but all of this aside, it is generally fairly well known that even in Asian cultures where insects do form part of the diet, they tend to form a very small, generally uh, delicacy sort of level of uh, dietary consumption. Not unlike lobster in the Western society. Now, I grew up in a lobsterman family and a lobsterman culture. Uh, there are some members of my family, in fact, who still fish lobster. I like lobster, uh, generally prefer the claws, but it's not something I would want to eat every day. And I know there are probably people out there who are being silly, like uh, one girl I met in Alberta, who, when I told her that I was sick and tired of eating lobster, uh, basically tried to denigrate me by saying, oh, you're, you think you're so much better than everybody else. You're, you're full of crap. Um, no, I come from a lobster fishing family. You think we don't eat the product that we pull out of the water? Right. Um, and I'm sorry, but a lobster is far more appetizing than, say, a beetle. Mostly for the meat-to-shell ratio. The idea that, just to go back to the dietary problems that could be created, excuse me, the idea that human beings who are omnivorous could suddenly switch to an all-insect diet or uh, a much more insect protein-based diet is extremely silly. Uh, it's... Uh, it's no surprise that it's the follow the science crowd who think that this is a good idea. Um, it's also not a surprise that it's the, let me just tip this down. Uh, it's also not much of a surprise that it's the very rich who think that the very poor should be eating bugs. The idea that uh, Nicole Kidman, who, as far as I'm concerned now, is a Renfield, um, which is a dangerous lunatic in service to a darker power. Uh, the idea that they want to create a society of Renfields is disturbing. Mostly because Renfields are... And it does come from the name of the character from Dracula. Uh, but the idea that Renfields are anything but dangerous lackeys of a, mark, of a much greater, darker power, um, it's pretty well confirmed as far as I'm concerned. Um, now, understand, I'm not necessarily averse to, say, adding insect protein to my diet. Um, in small amounts, but the idea that 
bugs are somehow going to be the great um, um, ameliorator or amelioration of hunger problems. Um, if that were true, there would be loads of bug farms in Africa. The Australian Aborigines would have been eating bugs, spiders, etc. They're giant insects in Australia. But as far as I know, the Aborigines don't eat a lot of, and I'm sure Bezik will uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but assuming he knows. But I'm not under the impression that there's any people anywhere in the world that bases their diet, or at least their, in, uh, their protein intake, uh, completely on bugs. <clears throat> um, it's surprising to me that dietary scientists aren't going, well, hang on a second. This processing issue that some people have with milk, that other people have with alcohol, that other people have with sugars, etc. And nobody really processes sugar well. Why do you think we're all fat? Um, but the idea that these or the fact that these ideas haven't come out from a dietary scientist who's gone, well, that's actually not as good an idea as you think it is, is somewhat disturbing. Uh, but then again, I've spoken to dietitians, and, well, basing an entire medical discipline on common sense, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know. Dietitians and chiropractors. They might belong in the same category. Sure, what they do can help, but is it really something you want to dedicate a significant portion of your life to? Uh, let's see, other news. Uh, my voice is finally back to where I want it for uh, audio work. So at some point in the next few days, I will be uh, re recording or at least recording the third chapter of Venture. Uh, I've been invited to contribute to the Sultan's website, so uh, I will probably be writing an occasional article for them. Uh, that's the sultansofchatelet.com. Uh, I don't think I have a, a link for that for this video. Um, I'll get one for the next one. Uh, which reminds me, I'm going to pause and make sure I remind myself. Okay, I'm looking at the website now. It is sultansofchatelet.com. Chatelet, S-H-A-D-I-L-A-Y. Um, looks like you can find all the videos that the sultans make there. Uh, so I very well may begin uploading stuff there as well. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they're looking for. But, uh... uh Probably something related to this, and um, I'll try to be a little more white pilling there than I am here, certainly. Um, yeah, this one's not a very white pilling video, unfortunately. Uh, also, I will be restarting my live stream, the Eternal AMA. Uh, you know, come on, ask me a question. Regardless what the question is, um, if it's looking for advice, I'll give what I can. I've, as I said, uh, I believe yesterday to someone, life beat the shit out of me. I'll do what I can to help others avoid getting the shit kicked out of them. Uh, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it for this morning. So I'm going to have one more smoke, hop in the shower, shave this fuzzy thing, and then uh, get ready for the Sultans. Uh, other than that, I hope you're all having a good day. Love you all. Take it easy. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.